Morris Knight here, and recently I posted a photo of NXS lead singer Michael Hutchins and I on Facebook that apparently caused quite a buzz and got the attention of his sister, Tina Hutchins. Yeah, I guess my timing couldn't have been better because next year sadly marks the 20th anniversary of Michael Hutchins' passing. And in his honor, a campaign to get a bronze statue has been started. So now on the line to tell us more about this campaign is Michael Hutchins' sister, Tina Hutchins. Hey, Tina. Oh, how lovely to hear from you. Pleasure to be talking with you right now. Same here. I saw that terrific photograph you had with Michael. I think it's something, actually, we put it up uh, on our site. And it looks so great. When, when was that? You know, I met Michael Hutchins uh, exactly 25 years ago. They were doing uh, their tour for X. Ah. He's the first superstar I ever met. So I was really nervous. And that's why I have the big giggly smile on my face. Um, <laughs> because when it came time for me to take a picture with him, he was just telling me, dude, just relax. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he said that, Tina, the way he said that was just so disarming. And I started uh, busting up laughing, and he made me laugh, and I made him laugh at me laughing. <laughs> and then they snapped the picture right when we are both having this great time. And that's my memory with your brother, Michael Hutchins. Oh, I, that sounds wonderful. That's really lovely to hear. I love hearing people's stories, and that's a, that's a really good one. He, he was good at making fun of himself, and he was good at making people feel relaxed. <laughs> and people I know who have met him before said that that's just how he was. I mean, you know, rock star on stage, but just a loving individual in person. Well, he was. He was a very down-to-earth guy, but I think that's part of the Australian in him, too. You know, those, <laughs> Australia doesn't let you get too big. They sort of, <laughs> you know, it's called the tall poppy syndrome, and... Um, and he never did. It didn't even occur to him because that, that was just how Michael was. Very easygoing. I'm glad you had that time with him. Me too. Which brings us to where we are now. There's a there's a campaign, a social media campaign that's being started to put about a statue in honor of your brother, Michael Hutchins. That's right. And, and it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's 19 years since he passed. And there's nothing in his home country to remind us, really. And, and it came about from um, a fan, this uh, young man who's a songwriter himself and, and a big fan of Michael's and he said to his friend there should be something here why don't we try to get a statue and that's where it started. I think that's wonderful because as we approach almost 20 years since his passing, it occurs to me, wait a minute, there isn't already a statue of Michael Hutchins somewhere in his hometown? It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, I, I hadn't thought about it, but it seems like somebody would have said, you know, this was the greatest rock star that Australia ever produced, that's for sure. Absolutely, and they had a great run, you know, he with NXS. Right, well, I mean, they were. it was their 20th year when he passed. That's pretty amazing. I'm actually going out to Australia I'm to go pick up an award for Michael. He's finally being inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. So then the timing for this campaign to get this bronze statue in his honor is actually quite right now. So what is the process? Yeah, well, it's a rather arduous process because you have to get all of these uh, signatures from people saying, oh, this person deserves it. <laughs> We'd like to see it. Um, and it's uh, like Kylie Minogue's sister, Danny, said, well, isn't it a no-brainer? But the government doesn't think that way. So we have to get all these signatures. And right now, people can go to change.org, look under a statue for Michael Hutchins, and just put your signature in there. It'll be so awesome. And, you know, he has so many fans in the United States. And oh, you yes. Know, that would make a big, big difference. I mean, we only have 22 million in this. Australia, but over here, 350 million, you've got to get a few signatures. So change.org, a statue for Michael Hutchins. And, uh, and then you present it to the Lord Mayor, and which we're hoping to have a meeting with uh, next week while I'm there. So we, we want to be all ready for this. And it starts right here, right now. Change.org, a statue for Michael. Also uh, social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's right. It does the same thing. Just a statue for Michael Hutchins on Facebook. Just go in there and, and say something. Maybe you've met him, maybe what you feel about him. You can get all kinds of information. If you go to michaelhutchinsinfo.com is our family official site. 
Um, so you can go there and it tells you, you know, how you can get involved. But uh, yeah, tell your friends, uh, you know, I know you have a big audience, Morris, so you'll get it going. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and of course, Tina, yeah. it's obvious what this means to his legacy, to his millions of fans. What's it mean to you? It really means so much because I think that he did a lot for Australia. And I think he should be remembered as someone who really opened up the music industry for Australia. He really deserves it. And I want to see that. I feel like it's something I need to do. You know? Absolutely. I think it's well-deserved and long overdue. Uh, thank you. I Absolutely. I couldn't have said that better. That's wonderful, Morris. Tina Hutchins, sister of Michael Hutchins, bless your heart. And we love you and we love the memory, spirit and art and music that was left by your brother, Michael Hutchins. Thank you. Thank you, Morris.